All right, this is the video to uh, help you finish web development number two, creating a live site. In this assignment, you've got obviously the tutorial and then you're gonna click this link uh, for the Replit assignment underneath. And I'm gonna pop this into a new browser window and you're gonna first have to log in. So once you log into Replit, what it will ask you to do is um, fork the uh, assignment. So what you're gonna wanna do is fork yours, mine, is not forking right away, so I'm gonna go ahead and fork it here. Go ahead and rename it with your last name. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and fork that. Okay, so we are working in pretty much a blank template website. There's nothing showing up on the web view. Um, the files have nothing going on. It's just a basic kind of template for you in order for you to learn several different skills. Okay, let me just get my web view showing up. Okay, here we go. All right, so again, I've got just basic template and I've got my script and my style.css. Okay, so the first thing I want you to put is, as you have hopefully learned, when you are writing a code for a web page, it has to go in between your body tags. So let's go ahead and add an H1, okay? and you're gonna put your name within the H1. Make sure your tags are uh, looking correct. Remember to get that to show up, just refresh your page, and now you see that showing up there. If you click the little arrow there, it should pop out, otherwise you might see a little pop out window. Okay, uh, here it is, a new tab. And so now I've got my web page, and here's where my code is being written. Okay, let me go back here. Okay, now that you've got your name written, um, let's make another sentence using a smaller heading tag or a paragraph tag, you decide. I'm just gonna put it in a paragraph tag and just say, welcome to my webpage. And refresh that, there we go. Okay, those are some basic things. Let's actually get into the meat of what this assignment about. This assignment is all about finding an image and making that image linkable to another website. That's what so much of the internet is. You hover over pictures and things and they take you to different parts of, the, uh, of different websites. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab an image. I'm gonna get a Bulls logo, uh, Chicago Bulls. And so find an image that you want to be linkable. I'll go ahead and take this one. I'll save that to my photos. You can remove the background if you want to, but once you uh, add it, or once you have saved it, let's go ahead and add the file, okay? If I click the three dots, it says upload file, and I'm gonna upload it from my photo library. I'll add my image, and now my image is here, and I can click on it and see that it's there. You do want to rename the file, that's just good practice, bulls, and I'll do lowercase bulls, oops, no, bulls logo dot PNG. Oops, if I click return, it won't. I have to click uh, enter logo. There we go. All right, sorry, I meant if I click return, it will save. Okay, so let's add bulls logo in. Well, the tag here to add in is IMG space SRC equals quotation marks. And then don't forget your closing bracket there. All right, you're going to add in this file name, which in this case is Bulls Logo PNG. But since it's a uh, file that you have, you're going to start it with a forward slash and put Bulls Logo. Make sure that you have the right uppercase and lowercase. Make sure that you end, have the ending file. And now I've got this image. Your image might be too big. It might be too small. Let's go ahead and resize this. I'm gonna to go to style.css and I'm going to add in a selector for my image. And let's say I wanna make a little bit bigger. So I'll put my squiggly brackets and I could do height or width. I'll just do height and I'll say 300 PX semicolon. And let's refresh that. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Uh, when I look at my web page and I refresh it, there we go, that looks a little bit better, okay? Now what I wanna do is actually have this image, when I click on it, I want it to go to the Bulls uh, homepage. So I'm going to find the Chicago Bulls homepage. 
It's probably like chicagobulls.com. Or maybe the NBA directs, redirects me to the NBA site. Okay, so I'm, let me just Google search it. All right, and when I slide down to try to find the Chicago Bulls website, sure enough, there it is. Oh, it's, it is under the NBA.com site. Okay, uh, once I open it up, I'm going to go ahead and copy this link. Okay, so copy that link and go back to my code, go to my index.html. All right, in order to make an image link, you want to take this image, but you want to add code in front of the image. So I've went to the next line and I'm adding code in front of the image. I'm going to put a href equals and watch. I'm actually going to, uh, and then quotation marks. I'm going to actually put my closing brackets before I add in the link because I want to make sure, notice that this closing bracket, uh, sorry, the closing tag was right here. That actually needs to move after the Bulls logo uh, picture. So I'm going to cut this with a command X and paste it with a command V. So that closing tag is surrounding or sandwiching this image. Well, now that I've done that, I have to go back and copy this link because I just, so copy it. And when I go back here, I am going to put this link inside my href tag. There we go. So when I now view my image, or let me refresh it, and I click on the image, it takes me to the Bulls webpage. Excellent. So you're done with one part of it. There's only a uh, three more things I need you to do. I want you to just style this page. Well, there's a couple things that we're going to style. We're going to style the heading, we're going to style the paragraph, and we're going to style the background color. So as you have hopefully learned, anything with styles, go in style.css. If I want to style the heading, let's just change the color of this. So it's going to be color, and you pick the color that you want. Okay. And let me refresh that. Great. Let me refresh this. Ooh, you know what would be cool if I did bulls, colors, um, hexadecimal. And it's not loading for me, but that would have been really cool uh, just to get the exact <coughs> bulls colors. Anyways, my red is fine. Okay, in order to, uh, let's style the paragraph. And let's actually style it with maybe a different font. So I'm gonna put font-family, and I'm this time I'm just gonna pick a cursive font. There's a lot of different fonts you could pick, but there we go, welcome to my webpage, excellent. And last but not least, I'm gonna style the background. Um, so that is going to be the body when you want to style, oops, when you want to style the whole page, you're going to select body, and I'm going to do background dash color. And this time I'm going to select black because I want it to be the bull's colors. There we go. Oh, I got rid of this, uh, the word there. So you know what I can do right here is I can do color white. And now it shows up when I refresh it on my page here. There we go. Looks great. Everything is linking. Perfect. This assignment was all about learning how to add images and make them link and then adding a few styling elements. In order for you to submit this assignment, just copy the link and then paste it to the um, Canvas assignment. Let me know if you have any questions.